This is our passive eco wall exhibit at the Swindon NSBRC. It's a low carbon building solution uh, that can be designed through to passive house standards. It's comprised of a, a, a timber frame, which can be a range of different thicknesses depending on the U values required. So what I'm gonna do now is just talk you through the layering from the outside of the system on the external side through to the inside. <clears throat> so on the external side, it's most commonly the case that timber cladding is the external finish. And you'll see here that there are two alternatives for the cladding. The cladding on this side of the exhibit is um, closed, so there are no gaps between uh, the, the sheets of cladding. Over here, this is open jointed cladding. Um, the difference being here that it has an implication for the type of breather membrane that's used. Where we've got a closed cladding system, we can use a standard breather membrane. And this, in this case, it's the ProClima Solitex Fronta WA. And this is applied over the top of the uh, rigid wood fiber board. On this side of the exhibit, where we're using open jointed cladding, because sunlight can get through the cladding, we're using a UV resistant breather membrane. So this is the ProClima Solitex Fronta Quattro membrane. So that's the two main differences in terms of the cladding and the membranes. Inbound of that, everything else is the same. So this is our main timber frame structure here. And like I say, this could be a range of different depths depending on the, uh, the U values, the design targets and so on. Um, the timber frame is fully filled with uh, Gutex Thermoflex, which is a, a semi-rigid insulation mat. And it's friction fitted between the vertical timber frame. On the outside of the timber frame, we have a rigid tongue and groove wood fiber board called Gutex Multitherm. Again, this can range in thickness from 60 mil, 80 mil, 100 mil, and so on. This all depends on the uh, U-value targets uh, as part of the design. Moving on towards the inside. So the first thing to notice here is this airtight vapor barrier racking board. So this board is the Finza Superpan vapor stop board. Uh, and the beauty of this board is it's doing three things for our structure. It's providing air tightness. There's an airtight coating on this board. Um, it's also a vapor barrier. So it's a vapor control layer. Uh, and it can also provide racking strength for the timber frame structure. So from the inside, we see that this is, the board is fixed directly to the inside face of the timber frame. There's the Gutex Thermoflex insulation again. The joints of the Finza Superfan boards are taped with Tescon Varna. This is an air tightness tape. Over to this part of the exhibit, we can see we've specially cut the Finza boards just to help show people what they're kind of the layering, the involvement of the layering. Again, there's the Gutex Thermoflex. That's the timber frame. This is the Finza board, the airtight vapor barrier board. This is the Tescon Varna tape, which is used to seal the joins of the board to ensure that they are actually fully airtight. These are EPDM grommets. Um, again, sealed with the Tescon Varna tape. These are used to make service penetrations through the vapor barrier board airtight. It's a section of EPDM either bonded to an airtightness tape and it's stuck back to the board. They come in a range of different sizes uh, for small pipes or thicker pipes, even bigger ducting. You can get grommets for single cables or two cables, even grommets for lots of cables all coming through in the one place. What this is showing here is a way of airtight sealing uh, a timber joist penetrating through the air barrier line. This black material here is the ProClima Aerosana Viscan Fibre. It's a flexible airtight sealant. And another option for airtight sealing these joists is to use a airtight corner tape. And in this instance, this is the Tescon Profil tape. Down on this lower section here, we've got a plug socket 
um, this flexible airtight material here is called the ProClima Instabox. It's ideal for uh, airtight sealing uh, electric socket boxes and so on. And they can be adapted in terms of size, made bigger or smaller. The roof structure of the passive eco wall is essentially very similar to the wall structure. Moving from the inside outwards, we have our plasterboard layer. Then we've got our insulated service void. This is the Indie Nature Indie Breathe Flex insulation in the service void. Behind that, we have our roof rafters, fully filled with Gutex Thermoflex, semi rigid wood fiber insulation bat. On top of the rafters, you can see there's more rigid wood fiber insulation, which we'll come back to. What is different between the roof and the wall is that on the wall, we're using the Finza airtight vapor barrier racking board for our air tightness and our moisture control. On the underside of the roof, we're using the ProClima Intello Plus, which is a humidity variable airtight vapor control membrane. Moving on towards the outside of the roof, <clears throat> on top of the rafters, where we've installed Gutex Multitherm. That's the same insulation as we used on the outside of the walls. Again, this can be applied in a variety of thicknesses, say 60, 80 or 100 mil, for instance. On top of the Gutex Multitherm board, we have the ProClima Solitex Plus breather membrane. You can just make out the edge of that, followed by a vertical counter button, a horizontal tile button, and our, and our tiles on the roof. <clears throat>